In this video, we're going to go over how to export a broadcast quality video file, such as a QuickTime file, directly out of After Effects using the render queue. So to start, I'll go to the project panel and double click on the composition I'd like to output. So I'll double click on the pollinators comp, which will make the timeline panel active. Now when I grab the current time indicator in Scrub, you can see this is an animated title that I want to output. Now before I go to the render queue, I always look in the bottom of the project panel, and I'll even click on this button so you can see what I'm talking about. I want to make note of the bit depth. For broadcast quality graphics, 8 bits per channel is the absolute minimum. If I click on this drop down, you'll notice I could choose 16 bits per channel or even 32 bits per channel float. It's important to note what this setting is because only specific codecs will allow you to render at these different bit depth levels. Okay, I'll go ahead and click OK. And to add this file to my export, I need to click in the timeline, go up under composition, and choose Add to Render Queue. The render queue will pop up here, and you'll notice there are three main sections. Let's start with the render settings here. I'll click on the blue text that say best settings. I'll leave the quality set to best and the resolution set to full. A setting you might change regularly is this drop down here for time span. You can render just the work area or the length of the comp. For this specific project, it doesn't matter because they're both exactly the same. If I want to choose a custom duration, I can do that by clicking the custom button over here. I'll click OK and move on to the output module. Click on the word lossless and that'll open the module settings. Up at the top under format, click on the drop down and make sure you've chosen QuickTime. That'll be the default on the Mac, but maybe not on Windows. Now, after that, go to the format options here in the video output section. When I click on that button, go to the video codec drop down. Notice I have several different codecs I can choose. Codec stands for Compress Decompress. Now, since I'm only working in 8-bit, I can go ahead and choose Apple ProRes 422, and that'll be perfectly fine. If I was working with high dynamic range footage, I would want to choose something like Apple ProRes 4x4. I would also choose that if I were rendering a graphic with an alpha channel. Other popular codecs are DNxHR, DNxHD, and GoPro Cineform. But let's choose Apple ProRes 422 and click OK. We can leave the default audio settings set up and then click OK. If we go to the Output 2 section, this is where we can name our files. So I want you to click on the name, or the blue text there, and I'll call this the pollinators underscore ProRes. And I'm rendering it to my renders folder, which is in my export broadcast quality video folder. Then I'll click Save to create an additional file without necessarily having a second render. You can click this plus button here next to Output 2. Then go back to the new output module and click on the word Lossless to open its settings. If you're on Windows, you'll need to make sure QuickTime is chosen from the Format drop-down menu. Then click on the Format Options button. Now we can change the drop-down for the video codec to DNxHR, DNxHD. Notice that resolution will default to the HQ 8-bit, which will be perfect. Go ahead and click OK, and click OK one more time. And to render this, just click the Render button. Notice the render bar is only going to travel across the screen once. But if I jump into my Renders folder, you notice I've created two different high-quality renders directly out of After Effects utilizing the Render Queue. 